First, we will need to determine the mass of a crucible and lid. Inside of the crucible, you might see some residue. This is from previous experiments, and it is bonded to the porcelain inside the crucible, so it will have no effect on our results. Now that we know the mass of the empty crucible with lid, we need to add our mixture, which we are going to purify. So this is a mixture of sodium hydrogen carbonate and sodium carbonate. So we'll add that to the crucible and return crucible and lid to the scale and get a mass of the crucible, lid, and sample. Our next step is going to be to heat the sample strongly. So using a Bunsen burner, the gas is turned on and a striker is used to ignite the flame. And the flame is adjusted so that we see that nice lean blue flame. Uh, if we see an orange flame, that indicates that we're having some partial combustion and that can actually cause soot, uh, which will impact our mass measurements. The gas is turned off after several minutes of strong heating. The sample is allowed to cool completely before massed again. A hot crucible will weigh inaccurately. Now that we have this mass, we're going to strongly heat for a second round. This time you can see what the sample looks like. This is allowed to cool completely again and we measure the mass a second time. Based on this mass, we've reached constant mass. It matches our previous measurement, so we're done.